Hi, and good morning. Uh, so today we're going to construct widths and angles. Uh, this part is uh, aligned and constrained. Uh, we've measured some slots and we've measured the top edges, the corner edges, the sides edges, and the bottom edge. Uh, and we're going to construct width. So we might want to know the width of the part. Um, and we might want to construct an angle of a, a line versus another line. And uh, so basically we're just going to do some constructions here. So uh, when you have the model already built and you've measured your edges and you've measured your parts and you've measured features, we can go to construct. So construct is right here. All right, construct is right there. And uh, in this case, we could construct a distance or a width, and I'll kind of explain the difference between the two of them. But let's go ahead and start, uh, we'll start with a width, okay? So constructing a width, and I'm gonna go between this left edge here and the right edge. And so I've got them labeled here. I wanna know between the left edge, and there's the first feature, and the right edge. So it actually comes here, and, and uh, I don't have a whole lot of different uh, options, but uh, we do have uh, a width, and because these are two lines that are parallel, finding a perpendicular distance between them is relatively easy. Um, and what we can do is we can go ahead and turn on our nominals here at 2.25, and we'll put in tolerances of 5 thou, and the results will send off. But um, we'll Naming this, uh, we'll go part long width. So uh, using a descriptive descriptive um, feature name. Uh, and we'll go ahead and save that. So now we have that uh, distance there. Um, we could do the same thing. Now what I'll do is uh, I'm gonna construct the distance at the top. So. Um, when I go to uh, construct the distance, uh, let's do that from the top edge to the bottom edge. Now notice that it's slanted here, okay? And so you have this, you know, the wave zone three creates a distance is from midpoint to midpoint. In this case, that's probably not what we're looking for. Uh, you do have some different uh, options. You have perpendicular, so that's gonna give you a perpendicular uh, using a best fit perpendicular minimum, so it's going to find the two closest points, uh, perpendicular maximum, of course it's way out there, um, uh, so we'll just go with perpendicular here, because that's really what we want, and perpendicular is very similar to pretty much width, uh, in this case, um, now it's going to perpendicular distance, and so if you look at it, that's going to be distance in Z, I'm sorry, distance in Y, right there, um, it's not, uh, you know, because we've got only perpendicular distances, all we have is the distance in X, the distance in Y, distance in Z would be any elevation, how you, distance in X, Y, uh, is going to be the same as distance in Y, because that's in the X, Y plane, uh, X, Y, Z also. Um, just, just have to remember that in order to use the composite distances, you're going to have to be aligned uh, with a, uh, with the origin system here. And otherwise, width really does work as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and report uh, the distance in Y. I'll go always, and let's go ahead and we'll, we'll just click our nominal here. 1.5005. Good. All right, we'll go ahead and save. Okay. So another option would be uh, if we wanted to measure this angle. What angle is this? What angle is this uh, form? It's supposed to be 45 degrees. Um, we could go ahead and measure angle. And then uh, that's called the corner edge with the bottom edge. All right, and so it actually, uh, looking here, it shows the different one. That's not really what I want. Uh, let's try, that shows you the different ones. What do we really want? We kind of want, um, uh, we're gonna want, I'm thinking, I think we want X, Y, Z supplemental. So. You're going to have to click in here and find XYZ Supplemental. There we go. That's the one. Uh, we'll probably have to change that to 45 degrees. We'll go with up. We'll go one degree. And we'll turn that on. Okay, so there we're going to get the XYZ Supplemental. 
and we can hit uh, you know you can hit save okay and so now we've got that measurement there um, the one thing that uh, I'd like to point out is that you do have some options um, in this construct button is the auto this automatic construct and let's just say we use automatic construct and we wanted to do let's go back to our two our, our left edge and our right edge okay so now we've got the right edge and the left edge again let's get that view here right there left edge and right edge vice versa um got a lot of options in automatic now it gives you all the features that you could construct from those two features so for instance we could go with the midline a pattern a distance perpendicular distance uh, perpendicular min max width minimum sphere maximum sphere offset plane best fit line offset line you have a lot of different options so um just to go over the constructions really quick is your width is going to be a perpendicular single distances you've got all the different component distances um angle you can you saw the 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 numerous different angles that you can get between two lines and then the automatic just gives you a list of everything that you can uh, that you can create uh, in this case I'm not going to create anything because I've already done it um, but uh, hopefully this helps um, and if you have any questions give us a call at uh, productivity quality Inc we do um, do offer zone 3 training uh, and on-site uh, Zone 3 support as well as support over the phone. All right, uh, we'd love to have you uh, give us a call. Take care.